Apple has done it. They added trackpad slash mouse support to iPad OS 13.4. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pair it up. I'm just gonna showcase all the gestures and the bells and whistles and everything like that. Now, first things first, you wanna make sure you update it. Go into settings, go into general, and you wanna go into software update. Make sure you update to the latest version of iPad OS. This is the first generation uh, Magic Keyboard. So I turned it off first and I'm gonna press and hold the power button. So I turned it off, now I'm turning it back on, but I'm holding the power button. And you guys can see it right there, keyboard, and there it is. All right, so once you did that, you gotta type in the code. So 8879, and then you can press enter and you're paired right up. So that's nothing new. This is what's new though, the trackpad support slash mouse support. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna press and hold the power button just to put it in pair mode and there it goes it pops right up just like that you tap on pair and it says using this accessory may affect wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity but i have it on my other ipad pro and no problems whatsoever so as you guys can see there it works like a charm so it works on the first generation ipad pro you know if you have the 12.9 inch you're good 9.7 you're good it's going to work just fine now some of the gestures to get familiar of um, if you hover over an icon, it's going to actually bring out the icon indicating that you're, you know, you own that icon and all you got to do is just click on it to launch it up and you're good to go. If you want to go into the home screen, you got to hover all the way down and you got to keep on going down and then it's going to take you right home. But if you hover down while you're on the home screen, it's going to activate the app switcher. The thing that I don't get with the first generation trackpad, you cannot scroll up and down. It's not supported, which is kind of weird. But you can use the keyboard to go down to a page or a website. You can do just that. But, um, you know, you, at least you can go home. You can surf the web. You know, going down a page is going to be a little tedious. So you can activate slide over by hovering over to the edge. So if you hover over to the edge, you're going to have the slide over activated. Say so you can go to apple.com. Oh, it actually changed up the Apple website. And then the cool thing, too, about this cursor, it actually changes dynamically. Um, so if you're on the text, it's going to change into this text cursor. So you guys see that? Let me move that around so you guys can see. You can see it turns right in, and then you can select it. Um, hopefully, Apple would put out another update supporting the first generation trackpad. But if I bring in the second generation trackpad, which is this, I got the beautiful space gray, it's going to work like a charm. So let me pair this up. Let's put this in pair mode. All right, there you go. Magic Trackpad 2. You got to make sure you unpair it on your Mac, so make sure you dispair it. And now here it is. So now I can scroll up and down just fine. And I can use the gestures so I can swipe between my apps. I can go home by using three fingers up. And I can go into the app switcher just fine using three fingers. And let me guess, I can right click too. Yep, I can. So if you have a Trackpad 2, this is going to this is going to be natural. You're going to get the full effect. I can highlight text very, very, very efficiently too. And I can right click. I can copy. I can activate. Uh, let's go into notes. I can drag notes right here on the side. And actually, fun little fact, I did this video, but the microphone wasn't hooked up. And I can press Command V. It's going to copy like that. So yeah, so it's no problem. I can select the whole line. I can delete it. And I can interact with two apps at the same time. Of course, I have my click and drag, so I can drag a link onto the notes. If I can, if I can do it. Oops, I just clicked on it. And of course, you know, you have your swipe back. You can, you have all your gestures on Mac OS right here on iPad OS. So let me do that. Yeah. So it works just like that. Now, if you want to activate your control center, you just got to hover over by the battery. You click on it. And I like the way how everything just hovers. So, you, you know, you, it's, it's kind of similar to an Apple TV where it just hovers. Kind of like that parallax effect. I like that. If you want to activate your notification center, you got to hover over by the time. You activate it like that. And then let's say I want to go home. If I want to do it here, you just got to hover over to the corner and you're good to go. I'm going to take out my handy dandy 2018 iPad Pro. This thing is a beast, and I think it works better on the newest iPad Pro just because of that ProMotion display. 
the ProMotion display, Face ID. So if you wanna switch iPads, you gotta make sure you forget that device on your previous iPad. So if you wanna do that, you just gotta tap on forget this device. And same thing with the trackpad, you tap on the I, forget this device. And then now it's gonna put right back into pair mode. But now I'm gonna see it right here. So I'm gonna tap it on it on my iPad Pro. And now look, I'm connected and it looks gorgeous on that 120 Hertz display. This mouse support is gonna definitely change the game for the iPad. You can see I can activate the toggles, I can interact with things, swirl up and down. And yeah, it just it's just right. It just feels right here. But yeah, it works just fine, just like on the first generation iPad Pro. How do you kill an apps? Oh, okay, I see. You swipe up to kill an app. That's really cool. So if you want to kill an app, you, you swipe with two fingers up and you're good to go. If you want to go back, you could swipe with two fingers back. If you want to go home, you do that. So you never have to touch your iPad display again. This is sick. And I see maybe game developers supporting mouse and keyboard like Fortnite, Call of Duty. So now when you're on LumaFusion, it's going to be very efficient to edit. The iPad is no joke when it comes down to productivity and having this mouse support definitely it adds another level, man. You can get some serious work done. Like, you can edit a full-blown YouTube video now. And, of course, you have their Apple Pencil, so you have that versatility -ness. And, ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it. That's how you pair up your trackpad slash mouse to iPad OS 13.3. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. And I just uploaded my iPad Pro 2020 unboxing. So, make sure you guys watch that video if you haven't already. And yeah, other than that, it's your boy Pops. Stay safe and have a simple day.